Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we've got a really quick, easy Easter craft idea. Now this wooden Easter bunny came from the works. It was just one pound. I actually bought it last year, but I'm assuming they have something similar in this year. All I'm going to do to start with is to take off this little like bow that they've made. It's just raffia with a little button. And I'm going to paint it in some um, creamy type paint because I'm going to use this over the top this is just some normal tissue paper and i just thought it was super super cute and it would look absolutely gorgeous with this um, little bunny design so i'm going to start now and just use some normal acrylic paint and paint the bunny it's completely dry now and what we're going to do is to add some tissue paper now um decoupage is a really 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 simple craft and it was one of the first crafts that i got into so this is a real beginner's craft if you've not start, you know done anything before and you want to start doing crafts this is really good and really really easy now i'll drop the um decoupage um playlist in the description down below if you fancy having a look if you've not done it before you can buy decoupage papers, but you can also use all sorts of um, different things to decoupage with. One being tissue paper. And this is a tissue paper I bought a little while ago. I don't know if you remember. And what I'm going to do is to put this over the top. Now, there are different ways that you can decoupage. You can tear off little tiny bits and then glue those on and kind of like stick them all together, which gives a nice effect. And another thing that you can do is just to layer it over the top. And that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this tissue paper. Now this little bunny rabbit is quite sort of, it's not got straight sides, there's sort of lots of bits and ins and outs on it. And I wanted to show you that um, how easy it is to cover something, even though it's, you know, a little bit, not very level on certain areas so you want a piece that's big enough to cover the whole lot and then all we're going to do is to get some Mod Podge now this is a fantastic craft for kids as well um, and it gives a real good effect at the end so you feel like you've done really quite well makes you feel quite proud of what you've done so all you need to do is to get some of the Mod Podge glue now I know some people do use PVA, but that is completely up to you. There's all sorts of different glues that you can um, that you can use. I have got um, a, a video that's going on. Um, it's we went to um, a farm, and um, we saw the rabbits there. And I did mention in the video it, it. I haven't edited it as yet while this one's going on. Um, but we have told you in the video that we've called Phoebe's rabbit Flopsy. So um, for those of you that have wondered, Peter, Peter Rabbit that's not Peter Rabbit is now Flopsy Rabbit. I had a rabbit called Flopsy when I was young. And that was the name that we were going to pick in the, um, in the vets. But um, Phoebe wanted to make sure first. Right, so what we're going to do is to get the tissue paper. And because there's a flat edge down the bottom, I'm going to use that because that will be... A bit more difficult to get straight so I'm just going to go along with a flat edge and then pull the tissue paper and just rub it on like this so rub it on with your finger rubbing it down and this is easier to touch than say napkins because napkins are very thin so you can touch this with your um with your hand obviously if you've got loads of glue on then it would be you know harder to do but I really 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 love this this pattern of tissue paper so I definitely wanted to do something with it right so what we need to do now is to let this dry and if you do find you've got some little crumply bits you can use like a brayer to go over or to be honest with you I think it looks quite nice so don't worry too much if you've got like you know crumpled bits because it all adds to the effect now what I'm going to do is just to take off the main kind of chunk of the excess 
and you don't have to cut really close because I'll show you how you can get round that in a second okay and it just takes away the excess so it's just easier to handle there we go and then what we need to do now is just to leave this that'd be fine we just need to leave that to dry okay and once that's dry we'll be able to get rid of all these extra little bits and pieces Right now what we're going to do is to get these edges off now this is completely dry and I just have a pot of nail files here these work quite well and a few of you have probably seen me do this before all you do is you get the nail file and you pull it down away from the top so you're pulling it downwards and then that just gives you a really really straight edge and as you can see that would be really hard to cut that but if you use the nail file it gives you a lovely crisp edge and it makes it really easy to get in all these little nooks and crannies so I'm going to go around this and then um, we'll put a layer of Mod Podge on the top. Look how easy and neat that makes it to, um, to do. Now, you could, if you wanted to, cover that side as well. Um, but I'm just going to do one side and leave. I'm leaving the bottom like a cream colour. So what we're going to do now is just put another layer of Mod Podge over the top. And this is just to seal in the, um, the tissue paper that we've put on. So that just seals over the top and once that's dry we can decorate it now i'm going to keep it really really simple because i think with the the floral design um i think we need to keep it the decoration quite simple because it's always you know there's there's flowers going on anyway um i thought or i do think that this little rustic kind of bow looks really cute i think with these kind of colors the the browns of the um raffia go really really well so even if you haven't got something like this i think those colors team together and give it kind of that farmhouse um sort of look so i'm just going to let that dry i'm going to paint the bottom and the back as well because this will just seal the whole piece and um, it just stops any sort of scuffs and marks and things like that um i have got some paint some different paint that i've ordered i'm doing some different pieces with different paint on the channel very very soon um, so we'll be trying out some different makes and um, the bits and pieces that I bought from the auction in the thrift video we'll be decorating those as well so I've got different top coats we're going to try different paints and um, I think there's about three different makes so I'm hoping you guys will find um, some inspiration and maybe give yourself some new new little different products to try so there we go. That's just going to take not long to dry. It's absolutely beautiful day today out there. I've got uh, my new top on from Matalan, the, the pink one that we bought from the Matalan video. And just some um, linen trousers because they're absolutely great this time of year. I'm not really one for wearing shorts. I don't know whether you guys like wearing shorts, but um, I do like linen trousers because they keep you a lot cooler. But I always find that you're best to pick them up when you see them because sometimes they sell out quite quite quick, as they do have them quite often. And uh, Matalan are a good place to pick linen trousers up from. Right. Okay, so we're just going to let that dry and then we'll pop this um, little raffia bow back on. So I'm just going to get the uh, the glue gun some glue on and it's just going to go back in exactly the same place that it started and there we go and how simple was that that was just like super easy it's a great kids craft it's a great craft for for beginners but also for people that are doing it for a long long time because this could be like staging if you've got a shop or if you've got a little booth or something like that you could make things like this to put kind of in between um you know so it's definitely not just for beginners it's for any kind of ability um, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this super, super easy tutorial. And I just want to say, um, take this opportunity to say happy Easter to you all. And um, I will see you all again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.